Cool, you know where he came from? No, he was found in Buffalo in an area called the Fruit Belt. Beautiful neighborhood. Fireworks go off every night. This guy, he was living in a bathtub. Not kidding. It's not God, it's an alligator. This? No, it's, it's God's meat. Too. His name's Meatloaf. Everyone say hi to Meatloaf. See those nice pearly whites coming in? My friend's a dentist, and he ne he's like, th they never put this in the job description. I call him up, I'm like, it's like 9.30 at night. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm off. I'm in my pool. I'm like, this was last summer. I go, I'm coming over now. He's like, with, with what? I'm like an alligator. We're going to your office. He goes, I can't bring an alligator in your office. I'm like, yes, you can. Let's go. We removed a bunch of teeth out of the sockets that were there and dead, preventing new teeth from coming out because he lived in a bathtub with chocolate milk water. And it wasn't chocolate milk. I showed up. There's like 10 cops there. They got the guy for other uh, extracurricular activities. This was in a bathtub. And they were like, uh, I'm standing around the bathtub. He's in there floating, just hanging out. And they're like, what are you going to do? And the one cop's like, you're going to top jaw rope him? I'm like, no. He goes, we all going to jump on him? I'm like, easy, Captain Animal Planet. Okay? <laughs> he said, uh, said, that's not my name. I said, I know, but I mean, he's three feet long. We're not going to jump on him. And I was just like, I don't know. And I was like, Ooh, I don't know. And the one cop goes, I told you he's afraid of him. I'm like, I'm not afraid of him. I'm afraid of putting my hands in that water. Because my hands are going to jump off and be like, see you later. <laughs> so they gave me these giant rubber dishwashing gloves, right? I'm like, sweet. And I'm ready to grab them. And the cop goes, just to let you know, a little FYI. That's not going to help you. Those gloves won't help you if he bites you. I'm like, thank you, Captain Obvious. Um, but I got it. So we pull him out, and he's like whipping around and everything. I cover his eyes, and I just kind of talk to him. I'm like, you're okay. We'll get you cleaned up. We're going to do okay. His skin was like cracking. And he's like, you get cracked skin. And there's just infection after infection after. So I picked up the guy's towel in his basement. I'm drying him off. So the one cop was like, what do you want me to do? I'm like, go talk to the guy you arrested and find out how old he is, what he's eating, how long he's been living here. So he comes back down and the guy's like, um, he's eating chicken nuggets, hot dogs, meatloaf, mac and cheese, and he had them for 11 years. I'm like, what? This thing should be the size of this table and add another four feet. It should be that long. But his growth was stunted, his head was weird. It took him a year to get on a good diet, get him all cleaned up. He took Epsom salt baths bleach baths like a, a pool with a lot of chemical shock bleach in it to really clean him up antibiotics cleaned his teeth out and then we got him uh wormed he, he parasitized um and i think alligators are lots i know alligators are a lot smarter than what people say and he knows that we helped him out because he was living a life of misery um we got him we got another one named crusher and then we got one named tiny tim that somebody tried selling in the ellicott creek park uh parking lot to an undercover officer uh, along with them, we had 44 others. They're all down in Florida, Gatorland, Alligator Adventure, Myrtle Beach, and St. Augustine's Alligator Farm. We kept three. We were just there. Where? Yeah, we Where? were at Myrtle Beach. Where? Yeah. yeah, Alligator yeah. Adventure. Yeah. It's the best. Ken, uh, my buddy Ken owns it. It's the best place ever. Oh, they, we just sent him, we sent him 20 alligators, different sizes. Um, most of the people, they got a lot more. And then they have another location at Myrtle Beach where they have even more alligators. Because when they catch nuisance alligators, they take them in because state laws they have to kill them. So they have a, a permit where they can take them in. And around here in Buffalo, when they would do all the drug raids and that, they would find these, they just get killed. I'm like, dude, they have a horrible life. They're living in terrible conditions and then they get put down. It just, it's terrible. I'm like, let me take them. I won't ask you for a dime and I'll get them in better situations. So it was like a win-win. The only problem was I get calls when they're doing raids at two, this guy was two o'clock in the morning. We show up there, they're like, come on in here. Then they're coming to the SWAT team truck. I'm like, what are you doing? They're like, put this on. I got these shield, like um, uh, stainless steel, like catching things, a uh, stainless steel vest and a helmet. I'm like, what, what? He's like, the house is supposed to be booby trapped. I'm like, why am I going in? <laughs> like, how many officers do you have in there? They're like 10, 12. I'm like, have them carry the whole tub out. Yeah. They're like, they're not touching it. They're, they're like scared. They also first. told me he was eight feet long. So me being me, I walked in the basement. I'm like, first off, you guys need to get a new measuring tape. They're like, Jeff, be quiet. Get the alligator. I'm like, eight feet? Eight feet? Who measured him? You know? And they're just like, get him out of the tub. I'm like, I can't with all this equipment on, right? And then I'm putting the mask down. I'm like, Luke, I'm your father. They're like, get out. Just get him and get out of here. So, uh, I took, and I'm taking selfies. They're like, you can't do that. It's illegal. I'm like, well, I think hiring someone that's not on your payroll, getting an alligator out of the tub is illegal too. Okay, let me take my selfies with your equipment on. But um, we did, he's just awesome. Like, he's just the best. And my vet, after they did blood work, 
and everything came back good after he got fixed up, except for the back of the skull is pushing on his backbone. So my vet's like, he'll never get six feet, bigger than six feet. So the problem is, yeah, he's alive. Could have brought a dead one, that'd be weird. And then I'd have to change stickers and like partially live animal. Then someone writes like a nasty email that I don't read or care about anyway. But this guy, um, so we got him, we brought him through all that. And then if they go to Florida, the problem is when I kind of vetted every, all the people we got gators from, they'd have one three feet. They're like, we had them a year and a half. They grow fast, I'm like, they're good. They'll keep growing. Um, the other 44 went down and they'll be normal gators. This guy and Crusher, they had him nine years crusher. This one is 11 years. His growth stunted. That's it. They're cannibalistic. Mom eats dad. Dad eats mom. Grandma comes along, wipes out everybody, right? So if we put them down in Florida, they put them in with three-foot gators. Those gators would grow. These guys wouldn't, and they'd suddenly just kind of disappear. So I'm like, that's a terrible ending to everything. So my vet's like, I don't think either one of them are going to get past five to six feet. So we kept them. Their personalities, unbelievable. Like This is like a step away from a poodle. Right? With me, anyway. Yeah. They sense fear. You don't want to come up and grab him. We're not touching him. He's an alligator. Um, these dogs, alligators, smell fear. So he knows if someone's scared, he can come around with his tail. Bam! Just like that. Really hard. Really fast. He comes around. Sorry, I forgot. You had wine in your hand. You throw it all over your sister. Sorry there. Yeah. He comes around. Boom! With that tail. Right? Head comes around. Boom! Very powerful. Sorry. He can swim fast. Sorry. It's okay if you peed your pants. You have your sprinkler. Yeah. So let's go back to the sprinkler. Here. So he goes like this. He's swimming through the water, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Webbed feet. He's like, you're not out swimming up. On land, he's ripping through Hamburg here, technically speeding on some side streets at 35 miles an hour. You're not out running them. People are like, I know what you do. You run zigzags. That's to make you look silly before you get eaten. Right? Like Bennett, say this guy's coming for you. And he pops up. Bum, bum. Starts moving in. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Da, da, da. Bennett, what do you do to get away? No, you trip your friends and keep on running. Okay? You're safe. You don't got to be the fastest, just not the Sorry, slowest I'm person there. I'm going to borrow a chair. Don't move, J-Lo. This... Thanks, Jalen. Okay, this, I'm glad you're done with Mark Anthony. He was too short for you and it looked weird and uncomfortable for you. Um, you had to wear like the high heels. It was, it was weird. <laughs> now, this guy, I want to show you what I would do if they came after me. I had to do a very terrifying show this week for eighth graders. Terrifying. I did colleges, high schools, no problem. Eighth graders, scare me. They just yell stuff at you. Teachers are afraid to talk to them. One kid's like, Mr. Jeff, if you have no one to trip, you're dead. <laughs> point but i checked this point because say they're coming at me like this bum bum they start moving in bum bum no one to trip bum 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 da, da, da. i kiss him on the nose then i grab him like this watch his head watch his tail tail's gone <laughs> He's out. <laughs> if I could do that to kids, we'd have an awesome party here tonight. You guys would be sleeping, I'd wake you up after a few hours, you don't even know what went on, you think you had a deep tissue massage, you're out. Doesn't work on kids. Try for, with my uh, son for 12 years. Watch her, don't let her go behind the table, she'll disappear. Now, is that like your second kid, third kid? Third, she's Yeah, fine. you don't care at that point. No. Yeah. Um, he's out. You want to see him wake up? Yes. Wakes up just like my dad. Watch this. My dad would come home from work, lay on the couch, passed out. He'd work like 14 hour days, right? My what? My my mom would go in the other room and just say, "Dinner time!" <laughs> he'd right back up, just like my dad. My dad's like, "What? Taco Tuesday? Sup, bro?" Right? <laughs> He'd just get up. Loud noises, wake him up. I could yell anything. Taco Tuesday, he'd be back up. Um, when you say dinner time, it's just funny. But alligators, when they go in their back, they go into a trance-like state, so they pass right out, right, by rubbing their belly. It's just like the only thing you compare it to is like humans when you get a massage and you're like on a table drooling on yourself. Same thing. Um, you wake up, someone's shoving cucumber water up your nose. But this guy can move quick. Don't let him fool you. Inside that mouth, right? 3,500 pounds of pressure per square inch. You can keep his mouth shut with two fingers. But he's gonna come around with that tail, bam, just like that, <laughs> knock you off his mouth. And then that mouth's open and he's coming at you. He's like, look out! <laughs> so, 
Inside that mouth, he's got about 82 razor sharp teeth. Not yet, they're still growing. He can lose those teeth and more teeth will come back bigger and sharper than the last one. So as they lose those teeth, new ones come in. Oh, check this out. Did you see, bless you, must be allergic to alligators. Um, did you see a snout? How do you tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Alligators, rounded snout, like a U. Crocodiles, long pointed snout, like a V. Alligators, black and yellow. They get older, they turn all white and black, and then it goes all black. Crocodiles, yellow and green. They get older, they turn all green. Size. Crocodiles get the size of a school bus with teeth. Alligators get the size of an Amazon van. If you don't know how big that is, ask your mom. She knows size, dimensions, how many packages go in there. Probably knows the driver by name. Hey, Clark, how are you? Right? The biggest difference, the biggest difference, are you ready? Between an alligator and a crocodile? I know schools are. Are you guys done with school? Yeah. So like thinking caps are like thrown out for the rest of the year, but put your thinking cap on for a minute. No, no, Think about this. The biggest difference between an alligator and a crocodile, you know what it is? Nope. One of them will see you after a while. The other one will see you later. Get it? See you later, alligator. No, it comes to him later. Dad joke. Was that okay after Father's Day? I know you.